In this video, we will be using the geometric mean to find the missing sides of a right triangle. And this is a great, wonderful shortcut that we can use when we have these large right triangles divided with an altitude. But first, let's look at what even is a geometric mean. So what if I asked you to find the geometric mean of two and eight? The way that you find the geometric mean between two numbers is you multiply those two numbers together and then you take the square root of your answer. So in this case, I would have the square root of 16, which is four. So the geometric mean of two and eight is simply four. Now, another way to find the geometric mean between two numbers is to set up a proportion. So you take one of the numbers and divide it by x, and then you do x divided by the other number. So notice when you find the geometric mean by setting up a proportion that x would be along the diagonal. And the other two numbers that you're finding the geometric mean of would be along the other diagonal. How do you solve a proportion? You would cross multiply. So I'd multiply across this way, and I would get two times eight, which is 16. And then I'd multiply across this way, x times x, and I get x squared. By taking the square root of both sides, I would get, well, typically when we take the square root of both sides, we would include plus or minus four. However, in this video, we're going to be working with triangles and triangles can never have a negative side. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about when we find a geometric mean, we are simply going to use the positive value. And that's two ways to find the geometric mean. In this video, we're going to be use this method. If we say that x is the geometric mean of two and eight, this is how you would do the setup. Don't forget that for this video. All right, here is the shortcut, and I'm gonna use a little skier man to kind of explain what we're doing here. All right, so the skier man will always start up here with the snow. So imagine right here is the snow and skier man starts up here by that large right triangle of that, or sorry, the large, the right angle of the large right triangle. All right, so skier man can choose to go down this, the right side of the mountain. So I'll call that R. All right, R is going to be the geometric mean of. So when the skier gets down the hill, the skier can either go to the first aid tent, let me call that F, or the skier could chose to go all the way across to the chairlift and I'll call that whole length C. All right, here's the shortcut. R is the geometric mean of F and C. So R is the geometric mean, we would set that up twice. R is the geometric mean between F and C. All right, where else can the skier go? The skier can go down the left side of the mountain, L. Once the skier is down at the bottom, the skier can then go to the first aid tent, I'll call that F, or the skier can go all the way across to the other side to the restaurant, which I'll call that R. So if the skier goes down the left, here's the shortcut. L is the geometric mean between F and R. So L is the geometric mean, therefore you'll write it diagonally there. The geometric mean of F and R. All right, and lastly, the skier can go down the middle of the mountain. Once the skier gets to the bottom, the skier can either go to the chair left, I'll call that C, or go to this side to the restaurant, which is R. So M, where the skier goes first, is the geometric mean of C and, oops, C and R. So remember that wherever the skier goes first, either the right side of the mountain, the left side of the mountain or the middle, that is going to be the geometric mean. So that is what you will see twice. All right, let's put this to action on this first example. All right, here's the skier up here by the snow. And so the skier would first go down the right side of the mountain. That is going to be the geometric mean. That appears twice diagonally. Once the skier gets to the bottom, the skier can either go here, which I believe was to the first aid tent, that's a length of 18, or all the way over here to the chairlift, which was a total length of 20. We solve that by cross multiplying. So I'd multiply across this way, 18 times 20, and that gives me 360. And then I'd multiply across this way and get x times x or x squared, 
Taking the square root of both sides, I would have the square root of 360. This square root could actually be simplified. If you forget how to simplify square roots, click the video at the top right now so that you can watch the video on how to simplify radicals. This radical would simplify to 6 square root 10, so we just solve for x, which is the missing side of that right triangle. Here's another example. In this one, the skier here at the top would be going down the right side of the, not the right, that's the left, the left side of the mountain. And so the left side, 30, is the geometric mean, so that's what we're going to see listed twice. Once the skier gets to the bottom, the skier can either go right here to the first aid tent, which was 11, or the skier can go all the way to the other side, I think that's where the restaurant was, and that's a length of x. So 30 is the geometric mean of 11 and x. Cross multiply, 11 times x equals 30 times 30. Dividing both sides by 11, we can't simplify that fraction, so we would leave it as 900 over 11. Let's look at one more example in which the skier is heading down the middle. So the middle, okay, remember the skier starts up there. The middle, which in this case is x, is the geometric mean of, when the skier gets to the bottom, they can either go to the left side, to that chairlift, which is 15, or to the right side, to the restaurant, which was 11. And we are solving this, so x is the geometric mean of 15 and 11. Cross multiply, 15 times 11 gives us 165 x times x gives us x squared. Taking the square root of both sides, we would have the square root of 165. That square root cannot be simplified, so we would leave that as is. All right, if you found this video useful, please make sure to subscribe so that you're informed as new videos come out. That'll help you in your math classes. Thanks so much for watching.